Hello there guys and welcome to part 6 of Let's Play The Sims 3 Island Paradise. Last time we left off we didn't really do much. We had Joe try to go on a date that failed. We added a firewalk to our resort and that was really just about it. We didn't really do too much. But anyway, um, I did film another part after that and I just it really didn't come out the way I wanted it to come out. So I am kind of re-recording it. Um, I went ahead and brought Brin's scuba dive level to level 5 just because I couldn't actually like look inside the caves at level 4 which is kind of dumb so I'm having her go ahead and visit that location now. Genesis is at the resort. Um, we'll read some new reviews in just a moment. What is he doing? He's playing games. Nope. Um, Joe, he actually has work in two hours so he will be reaching level 2 of the lifeguard career. Which is nice, because hopefully we'll be able to see something new um, in the career. And then Havon Suds. He's just gonna go fishing. He's just gonna chill. He's gonna fish. We can sell those fish, make some more money, yada yada yada. Just the usual things to do in Island Paradise. So we're gonna zoom in to Genesis at the resort real quick, just to see. Um, this needs fixing. We can, we can, we can have her repaired. It's okay. Or you know what? Havon is going to come here, he's just not going to fish yet. He's going to come here, do this, and he can fish at the resort. Because I feel really bad that he, you know, doesn't really get much- I mean, he gets a lot of time to himself, but when we do take him, we kind of torture him and make him do all our handiwork. So I'll let him do that. Um, he's going to work in one hour. Let's see. Hopefully it tells us where it is. I don't like that there's no- button to click where it is that he has to go. So we're going to just fast forward this until it gives us a notification. What is this? Chat with Carly? No, don't chat with her. No! Oh my god. She's such a creeper. So anyway, it says he has available lifeguard work to do serving the beach. To begin this work now, click the button below. Good. I wonder which beach it is. Let's see. It's probably somewhere really far and ridiculous. But hopefully there's not going to be that many people there this time around. Especially since it's raining, I don't think too many people are going to want to be out and about um, at this kind of time. But let's see. Ooh. Yeah, I don't see any open beaches, so I don't exactly know what it is he's talking about. But, oh, get inside. Get inside. No, 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 no. We need you to go over here, Brynn. Yes, we're going to have you scoop dive there. And now it's gonna probably take me 500 years to find the cave as it usually did. I did find it because you guys told me it was like triangular shaped or something like that. And I did end up finding it after like five minutes of searching. So now I'm gonna get that out of the way. And she's gonna dive. You dive, girl. Go ahead, get down. Go ahead, girl. Go ahead, get down. Yeah, I just quoted that. God help me. Um, ooh, catch. Catch these. And can I catch you? Catch that. Yes. There's a lot more activity to do down here today. Look at that. But anyway, let's see, where is that? That is a boat. Hopefully I'm able to find this a little quicker this time around. I don't want you guys sitting here for like hours. Here we go, found it. See? Wasn't too long now that I know. Let's just go over here and explore the cave. Last time I tried to do this, um, it glitched out a little bit and then the second time around I, I could actually go in. Oh, these are two different caves. Hold up. I can explore that one. And I can explore this one. Oh, there's two caves. That's awesome. I didn't notice that. I thought it was just one. And who are you? Andre Viradity. It's kind of cool. I've never actually seen someone underwater. I like that other people will actually be down there at the same time as you. Good job. Good job. Yay. Gotta give me props on that one. So here she goes, she's gonna just go to the cave on that side. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. There she goes. I think one of them is glitched. Maybe that was my problem. So we'll have her go in. Please don't just be one. Yeah, see? That one must be the one that's glitched. So we're gonna have her have to scuba dive again. Gonna get rid of this mood lit. This is something I have to do because EA sometimes, you know, you guys know EA. EA has their problems. Again, I really hope before Sims 4 comes out that they actually fix all the problems with their games. If they don't, I think they're gonna have a really big problem with their fan base. 
Just saying. There we go. So now we're gonna go underwater. I was just playing a uh, Tomb Raider Underworld, and this kind of reminds me a little bit of when she goes underwater, like scuba diving. So it was somewhere in this area over here. Where'd you go? Yes, over here. Have her do it again. I think it's maybe just this cave that's glitched out. Let's hope not. No, see, now she actually went in. I think we're gonna have to do that same thing with the second cave, but that's okay. If you guys want to know what the cheat code is that I did to get rid of the moodlet, I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna end up asking that question. So just type in testing cheats enable true like you usually would in the cheats bar. And then if you hit shift and click on the moodlet, it'll actually go away. But I don't wanna get rid of any of the ones that we already have. Breathing comfortably. Steady breathing in and out, Brynn is comfortably adjusted to being underwater. And she grabbed an electric eel and used it to charge her phone. Woo! That was close. Oh, that's great. That was really great. What she want to do? Improve her scuba diving skill. Alright. Why not? What is this? Look for diving work at the bistro. We can apparently look for diving work everywhere. That's pretty cool, though. It's realistic. You don't usually go for one place to look for work with a lot of different types of careers. So, it's interesting. Um, Joseph just earned a knife le- oh, no one cares. <laughs> I'm a horrible person. He reached enough lifetime happiness, oh wait, nobody gives a crap. So that's gonna go, let's see. Uh, she found an air pocket in the cave. Cool. Hopefully it doesn't take too long for her to get out. Come on, girl. You can do it. You can do it. Hopefully she's almost done. It's kind of taking a while. Um, you found an exit to the cave system. Do you want to see where it leads? Yes. Yes, I do. And here we go. We are... Um, Bryn... Okay, so. While exploring the cave, Bryn Fields found a way in a different exit, leaving through Davy Jones' locker. Bryn Fields also found the following. Silver. Alright, well that's cool. Does that mean we can actually... Uh, scuba dive in Davy Jones' locker? Yes! Yes, we can! Ha. Ha ha ha. Very cool. And now that we also did that, we can turn in our cave exploration stuff, which is awesome. Let's see. Is there underwater treasure is what I want to know. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit. Find anything interesting down here. None of this looks too exciting, <laughs> to be honest. <gasps> Treasure! Yes, there we go. That's exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> I feel like Mr. Krabs in that one episode. Oh, really? 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 No, you are gonna scuba dive. I'm probably gonna do that a lot throughout the LP just because I don't want to waste time with the whole depressurizing. To me, it's kind of dumb. <laughs> So we're gonna do this again and go get Lichwaja. Oh look little fish! Oh little fishy! We'll catch it. Congratulate oh! Whoa, 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 I forgot. We should probably pay attention to his job. Congratulations, Joseph has been converted to the new title of Mouth Breather by Isla Pierdiso Town Council. In recognition of his valuable con Uh-huh. What? Con valuable contributions to the workforce. Yeah that. Yeah, if you guys watched my ambitions LP. The amount of times I had to say that was ridiculous. Just thought I'd point that out. Learning the basics of mouth to mouth is very important. You're getting the hang of it. Keep practicing no matter how creepy your friends think you're getting. Don't want to know why they used that um, as, you know, you know, you know what I mean. I don't know. I can't. Let's pretend I wasn't talking. So there she goes. Hopefully. Catch a thing fish already, how long do you Okay, fine, don't catch the fish. Just come get the treasure. And here she comes. I think I just saw a shark. Oh no, that's another diver! Is this the same guy as before? Harley Greenwood. Oh, hello! Are you look young? Look at some muscles. What does your face look like? I can't really tell through the scooby gear, but... 
You can greet underwater? Heck yes. I'm gonna do that in just a moment. So here we go. Bryn's gonna go get that treasure before he does, of course. Because we hungry little people. Oh, and yay. So Bryn has found the following in the treasure chest. 1,000 simoleons, praise Jesus. L um, a large emerald, um, large oval cut ruby, three silver, and a map piece. Hmm, interesting. But now we're gonna go greet. I wanna see if this works. Will they like wave at each other underwater? Can you socialize underwater? What? What? But Brynn is gonna go meet this nice guy friend over here. Where are you going? Is it me or does this look like a hand? Like if you just cut off some of the rest of the bottom part, look at that. It's a hand. Where are you going? You want to socialize? I want you guys to socialize. Come on. Be nice. Um, I should be the lifeguard instead of you since I barely saved myself from drowning though thanks to you. It's great. They're probably just gonna wave at each other. So they're being- they're greeting each other. Friendly, enthused about talk about shells, talk about fish. So let them do that. We already got the treasure, so she can just chill a little bit underwater, get that skill up. But here we go. There's someone dying over here, dude. Di dying. This is your job. Go rescue her. Who the heck are you anyway, Rajan Patel? Shut the heck up. I should get Autumn over here to tell you to shut up. What? Your twin? Your twin's dying too? Oh no, hurry. Oh, no, he saved himself. I wonder if he's losing job performance for this. Doesn't really look like it. Whatever. So he saved her. Good. I don't think anyone else is drowning. He can, um, just continue to do whatever it is that he's doing. Who are you? Person. Everyone has the same hair as him on this town. Anything? I'd be kind of mad. And is this guy sitting in my chair? Are you sitting in my chair? Oh heck no, man. No, 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 no. Not okay. Not okay at all. All right, this person's about to go drown, so you're gonna go over here. Swim here. Or is this the same person from before with their little floaty? She's not floating on anything. I don't know what she's doing. She's probably gonna start drowning again. This person's gonna boat here to drown. Just wait, just wait, just wait. This person's gonna boat here to drown. Oh, she wants to splash us? What? What? Well, look at that. He's already getting another person to flirt with. Oh, oh, yes. Yes, flashback. Human interaction will kill ya. Let's see, what's her name? Uh, Valerie Vidal. Cool. Cool, cool. We'll have him call her up later. Genesis, what are you doing? Oh, do not, do not do that to the guests. Do not bore them. And we're gonna turn in our cave exploration stuff. He is still fishing. Let's see, did he get any fish? He got two anchovies. Eh, good enough. He could do better, but still. So, back at the resort. Um, let's see. There's people complaining. Great. Just how we like it. Um, oh, we forgot to read the reviews for today. So, we have one from... And wheat. He says, who needs a pool when you're this close to the ocean? I'm assuming that's sarcasm. My kids have to acquire extended food palette fast. We don't need kids food yet, dumb. Kids can eat adult food. I don't see why that's a problem. The food stand quenched my hunger. That's about all I say about it. You think you've been on vacation? What you think about walking on hot coals, son? Oh my god, yes. Wait, 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 wait. I have to change my voice for this. You think you've been on vacation? What you know about walking on hot coals, son? That's not just a vacation, that's an adventure. I give 5 out of 5 kablows, except he didn't actually rate us a 5 out of 5. 
How hard is it to wrap raw fish with some rice? Apparently, it's too hard for this resort. I don't gotta feed you sushi, you dumb. Mm, no, no. Don't get angry. Don't get angry. This is me pretending to be Genesis. Just thought I'd point that out. Um, I'd like to keep up my healthy lifestyle on vacation. It's a real disappointment to find out- You can jog. You can jog on the beach. You know how good that is for your legs, woman? Okay, did I just walk into a garbage dump? Yes, you did! Look at the garbage can right there. So beautiful, so beautiful. Um, I wanted to grab a drink at the pool bar, but they didn't have a pool bar. Or a pool. This place sucks. Great. So we're doing better! <laughs> That's so horrible. I'm like, we're still doing better! Let me see, can we afford a pool yet? I highly doubt it. I want to get one of the ones in blueprint mode just because they look nice. But I doubt it. Yeah, we can't afford any of this. None of it. That's so sad. <laughs> Dang it. I want to get a pool already. I really do. Just put it right there. One thing I can do, people are always complaining about the greenery here, so I can add some bushes maybe. Let me see. Uh, there's these. We have some of these already. Never mind. These look nice and tropical, so we're gonna add some of that here, some of that here, a little bit over there. Just like, just kind of spread things out. Over here, there, there. I think that's good. Maybe one back there. And eventually we'll get to adding the pool, getting our awesome stuff done. Here's what you, you know, you know where I'm going with this. I already gave you the lowdown on the place, so it doesn't matter. Um, hmm, let's see. View resort finances. I want to see this. So we're making a little bit more money now by adding some of that stuff. Almost 800, but then we're losing some. Let's see, what can we lower in expenses? Um, Tiffany Steen is our cleaner. Let's see, he is our food clerk. We don't have anybody working the front desk. I don't see- okay, we're gonna hire a new employee for front desk. And it's gonna be Kelly Hirayli. Or this guy, Gonzalo Morel. Hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be this guy. He is gonna be our person for the front desk. Yeah, we're losing more money, but there's no one ever here. Hopefully that doesn't glitch out again like it did last time. And someone still has to clean this up so she can do that. As for Havon, he's still fishing. Did you get anything new? Let's see. His fishing skill is level 2 though, so good thing he's been working all day. And Bryn is gonna go home after this. What did she get in response to the opportunity? Fascinating. There is so much to find at the bottom of the sea. Is that really it? Really? Oh, okay. But I do like the science facility here, how it has the whole tropical thing. Very nice, very nice. And the thing that they did with the boat dock is cool too. Very nice. So she's gonna go home. Uh, Genesis is gonna stay at the resort tonight. He's gonna go home. Maybe text that girl when he gets there. Let's see. Where is she on here? I'm gonna send her a text when he gets home. And he'll just stay here fishing until he gets too sick to. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this part. Um, I know we didn't really do too much. We found treasure, hey. I mean, that's always fun. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to leave now. Go ahead and continue to leave your suggestions down below because I know you guys, you know, love to put your input in and I love to hear it because sometimes I run out of ideas and don't know what to do. Blah. And I will leave you guys with this mermaid. Goodbye.